bright sunlight burns your eyes. This is a brief but blinding headache. Out of the darkness, into the light, enjoying the warmth while it lasts. Team has successfully been saved. Make light radiates, yes. She loves me not. What about people? Have a quiet butterfly wings. We succumb to the harsh winter. We miss out on the beautiful sun that grows warm us once again. I wonder what they are thinking right before they brutally dissect it. Do you think they're expecting it, Wanderer? Do you think they know what their lives are about to be snuffed out for the sake of your own personal first for knowledge and wisdom? Yes, they do. They do know that. Pat the kitty. It's the name Foxy. Yay! Okay, now I'm gonna answer some questions. Begin to read questions from the journal. Do you ever wish life could be free of drama? Yes. If you could leave your current life to live in paradise, would you do it? Yes. Would you ever live in a place where crime was commonplace and it was up to you to consider you have to defend yourself, need be? Yes. You discovered that when you were conceived, you were one of four... Wait, what? <clears throat> if you discovered that when you were conceived, or conceived, not deceived, conceived, you were one of four identical embryos who look, talk and act just like you, would you ever want to meet your other siblings? No. Yes? No. Would you consider yourself to be the most honest person you know? No. People are strange when you're a stranger. Do you agree with the statement? Yes. You believe that one should always stand for what they believe in, regardless of the consequences? Yes. You ever cause someone with a need death experience? Me? No. I don't think so. <laughs> Would you play a Russian roulette for a chance of 10 million dollars? If you win, you walk away with the money. But if you refuse to play, your net worth immediately becomes zero and you lose everything you've ever worked for. Well, I have no net worth. Aha, jokes on you bitches. Yes, I would still play. Are you oftentimes afraid of change? Yes, I guess so. You suffer from pain on a daily basis, I do. Have you ever wished that you can feel pain at all? No. You could grow wings and fly far away. Would you? Yes. Do you ever feel invisible to the world? Oh. The things you owned and what you purchased had no bearing on what people thought of you. Would you choose to spend your money differently? No. I still only buy what I want. The water seems to run cold and fresh on the mountainside. The tree is managed to flourish in spite of its environment. Water runs clearly beside the tree, clearly offering much needed assistance and hydration. Take a bite of the fruit. The winged totem stands tall before you. An orb made of crystal of sunlight and producing a good amount of heat, glistening and gleaming brightly. Here into the orb. Something beneath the orb glimmers in the sunlight. You require the wisdom token. An old well is open and welcoming in the hot desert sun. 
It appears to be functioning with all the necessities to get a water. You peer down the well, you see some reflecting light up in the darkness. What would you like to do? Place the bucket from the well. Required golden loot. Interesting. I know this pin to the bulletin board. It reads as follows. But you don't have to stay, but you don't have to go. You could survive here forever, at least you serve to know. The fruit is safe to eat, the water is as fresh as can be. If you choose to stick around, it will be in good company. Yeah, with the cat. Alright, time to keep moving on. Oh, let's talk to the tree first. Need a fauna. Yes. A return to madness. Find yourself back in the cold depths of long forgotten chambers once more. And in the darkness you shall return. easier my dear but we do get stronger monster room these halls wanderer the thought crossed your mind that you might be one of them she loves me not pot of flowers sits on the wooden table the floor pot seems tilted slightly, as if it's sitting on top of something, but in like a balance. What would I like to do with the other power flood? More coinage, badge and relief. Yay, another wisdom token. What is the time? 12.22? Interesting. Alright, let's answer some more questions. Do you consider yourself to have a chaotic personality? Yes. Are you a passionate person? Passionate in love? Normally not. Would you consider yourself to be a gentle soul? No. Would you consider yourself to be kind? I'm not a kind person. You know, has anyone ever hated you? Yes. You ever truly hated someone else? Yes. Forgive. Never forget. Do you agree with the statement? No. Never forgive. Everything happens for a reason. Do you agree with the statement? No. Do you believe that war is sometimes necessary? Yes. The mother was in terrible pain. It's always nice, bad when and only weeks from an inevitable death and she back to join the suffering. Would you find a way to assist her in suicide? No. I would let her suffer. You would take a step back, reflect on where you've had it in life. Have you ever experienced what most would consider a severe bout of rage? Yes. Do you consider yourself to be a good shot of character? Yes. Uh, do you ever feel do you ever feel uneasy for no particular reason? Yes. Do you have any long term goals and if so do you have a plan in place in order to accomplish them? No. It's probably one of the many problems. So what's here? At the creepy ladder chair sits in front of a cracked wooden table. In the seat of the chair was a pool of blood that seems fresh and tacky. Someone insured, injured sat there and to rest recently. A clay pot with an assortment of flowers rests on the table. After inspecting the calculated soil, it seems as though the flowers have been watered with blood. 
Bulb's wife, and wrinkled between the dirt and bloody flower stems. They seem to be feeding on chunks of flesh, and bone within the soil itself. Oh, I think it's time for some wisdom token. Grass is Norris Green on the other side. Grass is Green of every decide to model it. Left door again. What's the fire bird after all? Let's go. For the first time since wandering these halls and chambers, you get a sense of peace from being in this room. Jesus Christ, how long does this game last for? I was not expecting it to go so long. I mean, it is a, it is a test game from the makers, but I didn't expect it would make this one so long. Just because you don't know where you had it does not mean you're lost. Some sound of madness and Indian wanderer. She loves me. Along with a set of words. The two words are as follows <coughs> Blessing and curse. Rest your hand on curse. They have quiet, shadowy skull. Carry the burden of your choices. Think about death often. <laughs> kind of. Do you believe you're going to live a long and eventful life? No. Have you ever talk to yourself? Yes. Have you ever witnessed an event you just couldn't explain? No. Have you ever had a fear or suspicion? Ever. That someone was living inside of your house without your knowledge? I know. Do you ever sleep if you eat hanging off the edge of the bed? No. Have you ever considered that you might be crazy and just don't know it? No. I heard about it, but not considered it. Does the thought of an afterlife follow you and make you feel uneasy? No. Has the thought that there might not be anything of the life border you? No. Would you be willing to give up sex and masturbation for a year of men getting a deeper sense of peace in the end? I mean, masturbation is gonna be hard, but sex is not hard. To give up. But. And a deeper sense of peace in the end? Yes. But you consider yourself to be easily manipulated at times. Yes. But you consider yourself to be a manipulative individual at times. Ah. Have you ever felt like you were being followed, even when no one was there? I think so, yes. Humans are the most dangerous thing on the planet. Do you agree with this? Yes. Do you consider yourself to be a dangerous person? Oh yeah. No, right. Could reach an end soon. At least I hope so. 
The large golden symbol sits the top a stone monument in the corner of the room. It radiates a pure positive energy that draws you in to bring you comfort. You could pray for anything, anything at all. What would you back the gods on the left? Pray for forgiveness, pray for the soul, pray for a blessing, or walk away. An old oak barrel sits against the wall. You listen closely, a knocking seems to be coming from within the barrel. What would you like to do? Knock on the bell. Pull your hand back with something in your palm. Require another wisdom token. Go for the white door this time. The horns of the harvester. Does this game literally have no hands? Whatever positive feelings of warmth or comfort he initially felt in the previous room, I feel the polar opposite here. The game has been successfully saved. Oh damn. We have to get close to the end, right? We may be beaten, we may be bruised, bashed, and we may uh, have even be bloodied. But one thing we refuse to be is broken. Do you regret any decisions you've made since being here? Do you regret ever stepping foot within these halls, Wanderer? I'd venture to say that you walk in the path you're meant to walk. Let's take that and let's say she loves me now. One grave marker had a phobes before you. What do you want to read the grave marker? Here, West Swarf. One Swarf may be a burden upon one's very own soul, but not upon the soul in which wrath is sought to be placed. But if we were to set out for a plot of vengeance and retribution, we must first take two graves before we begin our journey forward. Mm. An old charm made from thick amber skin parchments. More questions? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be a highly accomplished individual? No. Would you say that you sometimes lack motivation? Yes. Would you say that you sometimes lack discipline? Yes. Have you ever faked the confidence level and pretended to be more confident than you actually are? Yes. Have you ever had the regret of keeping someone in your life for too long? Yes. Absolutely. Would you say that you have a tendency to hide your true emotions from people? Yes. Are you afraid of others? I just might think of you if they know all of your deepest, darkest secrets? Yes. Yes. Do I use the substance activity to mask your pain and avoid the reality? Yes. If you knew exactly what you had to do in order to become the best version of yourself, but it would take constant hard work, determination, discipline, and sacrifice, would you pursue that endeavor? Yes. Are you comfortable with the idea of living a life of mediocrity? No. Do you believe that for one reason or another, bad or for worse, most people don't deserve you or do you bring to life? No. 
Even the significant Delaware, actively witnessing a heinous and tragic act of violence taking place right in front of you. Did you risk the life of the significant other to intervene, knowing that at any point in time the silence would turn on the both of you? No. Well, no, she would. <laughs> I don't want to risk her life. If you were in a survival situation with your best friend and only one of you could make it out of life, would you choose your survival or with theirs? No, Kirby's gonna make it out. If you could give up your current life in order to pursue your greatest goal and dreams within the highest chance of immediate success, would you do it? Yes. Final page. Extremely keen blade with the tray atop the table. Lance the place with the slap of me. With bite taken out of it. Upon further inspection, it appears to be a kidney. Ice cold, bloodied water fills the top in the corner. The blood surrounding the top feels warm, wet, and fresh. What would you like to do? Reach into the top. You reach your hand into the water. Just for fact. Cozy water. Feel something small and solid at the bottom of the top. Bring it to the surface, inspect it. Another wisdom token, yay! Alright, time for another wisdom. Later token. While others are thinking, you should be doing. The sound of a door lock can gonna be heard in the distance. I think I'm going left here. Just blood. The pit of fools. Something calls you, pulls at your very soul. It almost feels like something in this room is begging you for help. Can you successfully can stay? This looks like it has to be the final room, one of the last, oh my god, I hope it is, at this point. If a quiet butterfly means, someone else is living the life you have always dreamed of, not because they're better than you, simply because they decided to take the chance you were too afraid to take. What if I told you they were doing it wrong, Wanderer? What if I told you there was a better way? What if I told you they could make it even more painful for them? Inkling radiates from the light. He loves me. An old child made from thick animal skin partners. It's fun, yes. Answer questions. We all have our demons. Do you agree with the state? Probably yes. Have you ever felt dead inside? Yes. Have you ever thought about murdering someone? Absolutely. Have you ever felt suicidal? Yes. You had an incurable disease which intentionally transmitted to someone in this life. Yes. That would be fun. Would you ever give one away? No. Would you consider yourself to be controlling? Sometimes. Do you believe that your life is of great importance and value? No. Did you, do you believe that your fate is predetermined? Cursed. Do you believe that our thoughts can manifest into reality? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be optimistic? No. Passionate sometimes? No. I'm a realist. Have you ever wondered if you were already died? I just didn't know it. Yes, I have. Have you ever felt physically strained or down by any unseen force? But do you believe that you have the soul? A shitty one, yes. One table sits in the middle of the antiquated chamber. Coated in a thick layer of dust, within the dust, 
This is an imprint of an object that's in the information that I moved. Yeah, let's talk to the skeletons. Pit of skulls and sordid bones rest beneath the floor. The faint whispers coming from the pit calling out to you. What would you like to do? Look for the bones. You find two skulls that seem to be emanating a large amount of energy, almost as if they're calling to you. As you hold the skulls in your hands, the whispering you once heard has come to silence. White stone bread from west in the corner. Seems to be an invitation of something once said in the middle. What would you like to do? You place the skull atop the monument, and possibly on the resting where it belongs. Place where everything, and everything in its place. The rooms grow suddenly colder. Something about the energy here has shifted. A bloody birthday cake sits on the dirty floor. The candles have been lit and already snuffed out. What would you like to do? Dick into the bloody cake. What wisdom token? I knew it. Oh, hello. The porch is calling candles. You can hear a whispering coming from the table as I dawn. You can quite make out the words, no matter how closely you listen. When you try to move the skull, it won't budge. All of the candles have been lit and burned halfway. That one which remains pristine, but would like to take down that candle. Yes, let's open the door with all these skulls. A way out! Yay, we must be there almost. You hear the shuffling of feet in the darkest parts of the room, just out of reach of firelight. You get a sense that something very bad has transpired here. Oh, I wonder why. Right, butterfly wings. You may not be able to change your beginning, but if you act now, there's still time to change your ending. What are you going to do with the wings you've collected? And open up a discount butterfly shop wonderer? Everything is half off? Ha! <laughs> Fuck you. She loves me not. An old wooden chest was before you locked and changed her. A handprint is in the car. The two words are as follows. Wax and riches. What would you like to do? Wax. A quite common as God. Perhaps you should have chosen more wisely, Wanderer. Or perhaps you know exactly what you're doing. Parchment in the quill rests on the table before you. There appears to be a note left from a previous visitor. What do you want to do? Read the note. If you're reading this, then it's already too late for me. I should have heeded the warning of the note I found earlier. I can't take it anymore shouldn't be here. No one should be here. This place has things to you, stores your mind, drives you to do things. Things a good soul would never do. Things I've done. Oh God, please forgive me for the awful things I've done here. I should have listened. And now, there's only one thing left to do. There's only way out of this hell. And it knows it too, the watchful one, the monster in the walls. It knows just we're about to break, and it provides an exit for us. It provides our way out. That's when you can't take anymore. I will take my exit now. I will find solace in knowing that my selfishness, my greed, will not go unpunished. 
I will atone for all I've done. All of those I've heard in search for answers of self. Will take my leave and pray that my soul find its way out of these wretched chambers once and for all. Find just another wanderer. Now to answer more questions. Hopefully the last ones. Do you love yourself? No. Have you ever hated yourself? Yes. Have you ever wished that you'd never been born? Yes. Do you ever get chills up your spine when someone walks behind you? Yes. Have you ever watched someone die? No. I found that people would have watched them die. Wait. No, wait, I did. Actually. I was stolen something personal from someone and then returned it without them knowing. No. You always lock the doors to your home, yes. You sleep with a window open? No. Do you add a decade onto your life? It meant taking a decade off the lifespan of a random individual we will never meet or come in contact with? Yes. Have you ever felt like someone was watching you through your window? Yes. It's weird, but because it's hard to be nobody else. Have you ever wished that someone you've hated would die? Of course. That's why I hate them. If I don't hate them, I wouldn't. If I really hate them, I wish them death. If not, then I don't actually hate them. Have you ever feel the possibility of permanently losing them? Yes. At the same time, I feel like that would be a great thing for me to happen. Do you consider yourself to be a good person? No. Do you consider yourself to be a bad person? Yes. We ever felt like maybe not even a person at all. I'm a monster. I'm a monster. I always will be. Alright, let's go here. Dull iron blades, it's blood, resting at the top a stone built table. There's a certain darkness that emanates from the blade and gives off very negative energy. You get the sense that this blade was not used with the best of intentions. Blood still a stanchion of an angel before you, pressing your hands together with your hair tongue, go deep in prayer. It is then near her. You can hear a faint whispering coming from the statue. I'm losing my voice again from talking so much, Jesus. <coughs> it briefly looks as though the statue's lips are moving. As if the angel is mumbling to herself. But the longer you stare, the more silent and still the statue grows. Cool tricks. Alright. Ding, ding, ding. Pretty sure we've done this room completely now. Alright. Statue, you get a token. If you believe you can do something, chances are you can. If you believe you can't, well then, you're probably right about that too. Yes. Innocence lost. As you open your eyes and gaze around the room, visions of your childhood cloud your mind. Some memories bring you nostalgic bliss, whereas others bring you brief heartache and grief before you quickly flush the thought from your memory and continue onward.
this game really doesn't want to end. 